Hello, my name is Jeff McMullen and welcome to Wiki Collaboration with Team Foundation Server 2018. Uh, in this example, we're going to create a wiki page in TFS 2018. Uh, you click the wiki link and we're going to type in home and enter some text for our first uh, wiki page. Say welcome to our project. And let's click save. And once we click save, you can see our pages over there on the right. And so currently we have a, a home page. Let's go ahead and check the security, uh, which the security is stored and you can control uh, who can access, who can change pages uh, from, from this menu. Now, uh, let's go back to our uh, wiki page and let's go ahead and add uh, another page. And Let's go ahead and call this uh, getting started. And, and we're going to type some stuff here. And below this just uses the uh, markdown uh, syntax. So you can, you know, learn that syntax. And so we're going to click save. And if you notice now, we made that a child of home. And let's go ahead and add another child page. And we're going to call this uh, development environment. And let's say, you know, our development machines. Uh, let's say they're going to be Windows Server 2016, TFS 2017, as well as Visual Studio 2017. And uh, let's let's save this. And in this example, I want to show you, you know, the, the whole editing and revision. So we're going to go ahead and edit this page, and we're going to change TFS 2017 to 2000, uh, TFS 2018. Um, let's enter our notes to, you know, show our history of what we did, and. Now, in this, we're clicking the revision, so you can see the timestamp and who made these changes. Um, you can also click and compare the changes, so you know exactly what was, you know, what was done and what what time it was done. All right, so let's go back. So now, what do we want to do? You know, get started right now is a sub page of home. Let's go ahead and move that to the uh, root. So we drag that up a little bit. We get our, our pop-up message uh, telling us, you know, it's just a warning message. We click there, and now uh, the getting started page is on the root. And if you have lots of pages, sometimes you may want to filter. And we, you can see we typed in uh, e, e and V here, so we get the environment uh, showing us where that page, and also its parent. Now, sometimes you may want to work with a page offline, and since this all this stuff is stored in Git, you just go and clone the. Uh, you know, clone the repository like you can do with any any Git repository. All right, from here we're gonna go open up uh, Visual Studio 2017, and uh, let's you know give this a little bit of time to to come open. Uh, we're gonna connect to our connect to our uh, TFS project, and we're gonna open the uh, local Git repository and paste that in there, and let's clone it. And uh, let me let's give this a uh, few seconds to clone. All right. All right. So now we're cloning. Uh, please excuse the, the if you see any markings on the recording. Uh, that's, that's, uh, I'm using a new a new tool that a new recording tool that I haven't used in the past. So we're gonna to whenever we clone this, it's nothing but just some files that use the Markdown language. So we're gonna open up a uh, file, uh, the file, and go through File Explorer to find the folder where we uh, cloned this repository to. All right, so we have our parts unlimited dot wiki, and so you can see how we just have some markdown files. We have a dot order file and a get started file. So I'm gonna go in here and, like I said, this is markdown language. So I'm gonna put put some markdown syntax. Uh, let me save this file. Um, and let's go ahead and add another page to the easiest way to add another page is I'm just going to copy and paste one of the assisting markdown files. I'm going to change that over to team bios and I just put some information about and you know myself I'll say I'm a team member for this page. Now one of the things that I'm going to show here is you want that that dot order file is very important. Um, if you don't if you create a new page and you don't update the dot order file then uh, you're going to get an error. So I'm going to go ahead and check this in and, and, and show you uh, what this, uh, what, what sort of error message you'll see if you forget to uh, change that dot order file. So I'm going to 
go to the, uh, the ch look at my, my local changes. Oh, so one thing by, by default, Visual Studio will create some additional files that we'll try to you know put in there that we really don't need. So we can right click and just say ignore. Uh, so we're only going to check in the files to our repository that that you know are important to what we're doing. So let's commit and sync these changes. Uh, let's give this a uh, you know a few seconds to, to sync, and now let's go back to our web page and refresh. Now, since we didn't change the order file, you notice we're going to see this nasty error message uh, that we have for when we try to go to this Team BIOS page. So the reason why this error is here is because, like I said, we forgot to add the Team BIOS page to our order. So let's hop back into Visual Studio, um, go to the uh, .order file. We're gonna type in the new the new page that we created, Team BIOS. We're gonna save, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this into our uh, Git repository. Go to commit the change, and uh, now to sync it. And that's one thing, just working with Git, which most of you are probably already familiar. You know, just because you commit something locally, you also have to sync it with the server. So. Let's go back to our web page, refresh, and now that you see that error has gone away and Team BIOS is on our route.